Welcome back to another edition of the Rogue Roundup, where I give my specs for Legacy, Modern, Pioneer, Standard, and Commander for cards that I think are going to go up. Starting off this week, we are going to take a look at Commander. And for Commander, I've picked a bulk rare out of Modern Horizons, which I think should not be bulk. Not only does it see play in the Commander format, but it does occasionally see play in Modern. And this is Tectonic Reformation. Believe it or not, Tectonic Reformation, since it has been printed, has seen 15% share in all Commander decks that run it. This means all of the Mono Red Commanders from Torbran to Sir Kara the Bold have been, about 15% of those decks have been running this card. So if that trend continues for Commander going forward, not only in the Mono Red Commanders, but any land-based commanders like Lord Windgrace, this card will not be bulk long term. I'm expecting Modern Horizon supply to eventually end sometime in 2020, and with that, the bulk rares will start to be the first cards to move up, and then the rest of the set will also begin to accrue value. So I think getting on on Tectonic Reformation around the 10 cent to 25 cent uh, mark is a pretty good spec. Next up, we're going to take a look at Standard, but this is one of those triple dippers. You can actually think this is Modern, Standard, or Pioneer. This is Nimizet Reborn. Uh, recently, Fires of Invention decks have been seeing more and more play in the Standard format, and actually more and more play in the Pioneer format, and Nimizet goes in its own 4-color, four 5-color four color shell in the Modern format with the Bring to Light card. So I like the Mazette Reborn for the triple dip aspect and with Standard having a almost a year left before it rotates, a Mythic out of War of the Spark actually looks pretty good at this price. $3 is a bargain for any Mythic that sees this amount of play and most decks are running three to four of these, whether it be the Fire of Invention decks or the Bring to Light decks. And getting in on this about $2 is pretty reasonable. The spread is not there where you want it to be at the moment, meaning that the sales aren't there to support Nimizet spiking anytime soon. But if the Fires of Invention decks continue to put up the numbers in standard and they bring to light in Modern and Pioneer, then you should expect Nimizet to have a double up uh, sometime in 2020. Next up, we'll take a look at Modern, but this is really for Modern slash Pioneer. Pioneer had a lot of green-blue decks that were the top decks after the decks that were had banned cards in them. So Oko is still legal in the Pioneer format, and most of the decks do prefer to run the two what we call fast lands in the format, so the fast and the pain lands, and the pain land from the, the the blue green is Yavamaya Coast. So there are plenty of Pioneer decks that run four of, of the Yavamaya Coast in their list. And there are actually many decks in Modern that are now running four of, of the Yavamaya Coast. Now this card does get reprinted a ton. It's almost yearly that these cards get thrown in like a commander deck or some other sort of deck. And it will probably be reprinted in standard. But this is a bargain right now at the dollar range for this card. Uh, I would I would try to target these at the buck. The best uh, buy list is around that dollar mark. So if you slightly offer more than the buy list. I think that these should be able to uh, be acquired quite easily. Uh, but I don't think this price is going to hold because like I said, the Simic Eldrazi deck in Modern is really starting to take more of the, the share of the Modern scene, as well as the many, many, many blue-green decks in Pioneer uh, that do want this faster mana that you have Maya Coast offers. So this is a very good spike that is starting to grow right now, but I'm expecting the, that rate to rise faster than it is. So this makes one of the, the more premier specs this week. Speaking of blue-green, let's take a look of Legacy. Legacy, the Bant Miracles and Soltai Control decks are performing very well, and both of them have gone over to the Snow theme. So for this week, I'm going to pick the Ice Fang Kotal. This is another Modern Horizons card, and as I said earlier with the Tectonic Reformation, I'm expecting Modern Horizons to eventually come to a close with the supply, and it makes cards in the $3 range very lucrative, especially for how much play the Ice Fang Kotal sees. This card does see play in Modern, and there are a lot of Arkham Astrolab decks that are starting to pop up in Modern and in Legacy, and the Ice Fang Kotal is very similar to other cards that have existed, the, like the Baleful Strix that have been uh, mainstays in the Legacy format for a long time now. So I think I like this even more than the, the, the Strix because this has some overlap between both modern and 
uh, legacy. And I'm sure that many decks in, in Commander actually run the Ice Fang Kotal too. It does everything you want to do. It, it can trip, has Death Touch, uh, Flash Flying. So it's going to be a removal spell and a draw card in the various formats that it's played in. So picking these up around the $3 mark, I think is very smart as the Modern Horizon supply is coming to a close. That leaves us with our best spec this week, and this is none other than Scavenging Ooze. I'm giving this an A rating because the spread is razor, razor thin. So currently, these are about $5.50 to about $6, uh, depending on what version of the Scavenging Ooze. And Card Kingdom is already uh, buying the lowest one for $4.50. They're actually paying a lot higher for other versions of this card, uh, especially the original Commander uh, scavenging ooze. So if you can get it on scavenging ooze around the $5 mark, I think that's pretty smart, mainly because of this card is starting to see a lot more play in Pioneer. There are various decks that do utilize the graveyard, or there are a lot of aggressive decks, and so scavenging ooze is very good against both of those. And there are also decks like Hardened Scales that do utilize that plus one plus one counter uh, ability from the, the scavenging ooze. And so it does go in the Hardened Scales deck, it's going in like the Simic Oko decks and any other of the Simic decks, it's going in various Jun decks in modern uh, so there's the overlap legacy plays this card as well so the overlap from all the formats even commander plays this a lot uh, a little bit of a warning this is much like yavamaya coast this does seem to get reprinted yearly in the various commander sets or or maybe we'll even see play again in standard uh, so usually you want to get in on this and then wait for the price spike and then sell out before the next commander set uh, is spoiled. So I think you have some time before Commander 2020 uh, comes out and for scavenging news will probably at least go up to eight, I'd say even though all the way up to $10 by that time, uh, as just the, the amount of pioneer play that this is starting to see is overwhelming the supply. I hope you enjoyed this list of cards from this week's episode of the Rogue Roundup. Be sure to check back next week. Or if you're a fan of this type of financial content, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. What are your five cards you're going to be investing in? Be sure to check out my other channel over at roguedeckbuilder.com for our weekly Market Monday episode. Thanks for watching.